Yesterday, the prayer to the sunset. Tomorrow, perhaps the future. But today, the struggle. Instigated by military coup on 17th of July 1936, a coalition of nationalists tried to end the Second Spanish Republic and take control of Spain. A class struggle, a religious struggle, a struggle between dictatorship and republican democracy, between revolution and counter-revolution, and between fascism and communism. The Spanish Civil War that followed can be seen in many ways. Indeed, within the republican coalition that formed to oppose the rebel uprising, a political struggle for supremacy was taking place at the same time as this wider conflict. Today the struggle is a card-driven war game that simulates this interfaction tension set during the tumultuous times of the Spanish Civil War. Players must balance their own faction's interests against the ever-present danger of the rebels and their gathering power. Today the struggle comes with following components. A rulebook, six map cards portraying the Iberian Peninsula, a trekking card for trekking victory points and political conditions of various categories, a four-sided die and a number of wooden cubes, 13 blue cubes for the rebel armies and influence, and nine red cubes, nine violet cubes, nine yellow cubes and nine black cubes for the four player factions in the game. Additionally, there is a bag and a deck of 14 cards. The finished game would include two additional decks of 14 cards each to represent all three main historical chapters of the Spanish Civil War and the associated historical events. So after all players have played their card and revealed it, the card with the highest initiative rating, which is the, the lowest number in the top right corner of a card, is the active player and plays the card. The socialists here have a an event that suits the communists, so they probably don't want to play it for the event, but they will play it for four operation points. However, doing so enables the communists to choose one of the two options on the card, either play three cubes in Madrid or increase autocracy. The communists will place three cubes in Madrid which results in a extreme readjustment. So all cubes are placed in the bag because we have more than four cubes and four cubes are drawn out of the bag and placed back onto the Madrid card and one cube is removed back into the player cube pool. Now the socialists can activate the four operation points. Launching a battle costs two, so then they will place one cube here, move it over to avoid the readjustment in Madrid, but use the remaining two operation points to launch a battle in Sevilla. That way they can deliberately remove one rebel cube and the remaining cubes go into the bag and two, so all but one, are drawn from the bag. Unfortunately, one cube of the socialists is lost. So that means they have removed one rebel cube and gain one victory point for that. And the card indicates that this card is placed into the crisis pile for playing the OP or for playing the event, no matter what. Okay, so the anarchists are next with a, an initiative of five. Now they've got a card that is an event for them and they are going to play it. They add two cubes, Zaragoza, and they get to increase liberalism in doing so. So that moves them into a victory condition there. And they're in control of two different cards there. Now, this goes into the crisis pile with both an OP and the, an event being played. Regionalists could play their event because it's, let's say, their event play. But on the other hand, they do not have any uh, political track in favor of them. So they decide to use the OP and two points can be used to change one of the political tracks by one. So now they are in a position to score if a scoring happens. And as the event was not played, this is discarded now. 
the card has an event for the socialists but the communists want to use d3 ops anyway so the socialists now have the chance to use one of the two options either place influence in zaragoza or uh, increase centralization they are far from getting influence here so they will probably place a cube in zaragoza which again results in a extreme realignment all cubes are shuffled and four are drawn back out of the bag which destroys one anarchist influence cube now the communists can use three operation points they use two to change the political dimension to militarism what else could they do for one they could potentially place it over here in Gijon. And as the card has been played by the active player for the OPs, this goes into the crisis pile. Once after a player activation, there are four cards being placed into the crisis pile, then a crisis is triggered. Which means that the majority of uh, faction aligned events, crisis events, are resolved. In this case, we have three rebel events. So this card would be discarded and these three events would be resolved. If there would have been a tie, so let's say two rebel cards and two communist cards, then all four cards in the crisis pile would have been resolved. And the crisis events would either give the the rebels, the non-player faction, actions, or they would provide challenges to the players, the pro-republican players, or even launch so-called major offensives in which players could gain victory points. The game is played over three phases with specific cards for each phase. So each deck of cards for each phase is recreating the global development and events as they happened in the history. So there's a big focus in this game to emphasize all the historic events. And due to the fact that uh, 12 of the 14 cards of each phase are played, there's a really high percentage of events which are either played or uh, at least checked if they are worth to be played. So this is a really big focus in this game to recreate history, but not in detail uh, as it happened, but with uh, some influenced by the players as well. The game ends after the third phase and the player with most victory point wins. There's also earlier ends possible so if the players neglect to stop the rebels from their progression then which is represented by five map cards covered with blue cubes then the game is ending prematurely also if one player is storming ahead with victory points where which lead, with a lead of four victory points the game uh, ends immediately Todos contra la reacción. Todos contra el fascismo. Un solo frente. Una sola unión. Hombro con hombro unidos todos hasta acabar con el enemigo.